What's up everybody, it's your boy Jeff, back in with another video, and today we're going to talk about the new release, today's September 28th, Altel just dropped some brand new drones, the Altel Nano series, two versions of it, uh, the Nano regular and the Nano Plus, and they also have a light series that is going to compete against the air series, which is called the light regular and the light plus so that's like four little models that are coming in so let's go check them out and later on we discuss you know what they have in them and the prices so let's check this out okay guys so here we are and uh, there's the website hotel website and as you guys can see let's look for the new ones that are coming out the nano series so let's learn more about the nano series it's a new drone just was announced today and here they are so these drones we're going to start off with the nano plus which is the higher version of the two now sharper smoother superior has going to have a 128 inch uh sensor with a aperture of f 1.9 so that's pretty good 1.28 as you guys can see there which is pretty cool, RYB, we'll find out what that means. Usually that means like that's that new filter that allows more light. So, you know, it's, it's a badass filter for your drone, um, the CMOS sensor. Um, <clears throat> so the cameras are 48 megapixel, half a CMOS, half an inch CMOS, the um, three axis gimbal. Supposedly it's better for like night shots. You know, everything gets brighter, looks brighter, and a splash of color. So it's going to come in, in a, the classic orange. As you can see here, it's going to come out with the white, the bright blazing red, and the deep space gray. Only 200. So this one is direct competition to the Mini 2. So this is going to be going after the Mini. 249, you get all that. Let's see what else. So you're going to get Sky Portrait. So it's going to have a nice camera for portraits. This version, Master Subject Tracking. So it's going to have tracking, which something this, that the little guy from DJI does not have, which is a subject tracking. It does not track. So this baby is going to have tra a tracking feature. So that's pretty cool. Cinematic shots with a single click. So everything is like the software that's going to carry. The intelligence is going to have. It's going to have flick, rocket, fadeaway, orbit. So it's going to have, you know, quite a few little software uh, camera options there. So, Movie Master Quick, so this all have to do about the software. So apply your favorite templates, you know, blah, 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 just software so you could do your own editing. Fly free, no lag, so this is interesting. So it's gonna have a 2.7K, 30 frames per second, transmission to the phone. So it's gonna be able to, you know, record 4K, but it transmit at 2.7K. That's even higher than a, you know, than, than a regular 1080p. So it's going to be a very strong transmission up to 6.2 miles. So that's pretty cool. You know what I'm saying? That's, you know, that, that's one up on DJI on that one. Uh, snap and share in seconds. And then, oh, this is interesting too. It's going to have the sonar sound. So it says here that it's going to, going to be able to record voices and the ambient sounds from the ground through your remote control built-in microphone. So you want to create a video and, you know, talk over it. It's going to have a microphone so you could, like, you know, a built-in microphone on the controller itself so you can record that's pretty cool too man that's it's pretty cool that's all uh, another up on dji mini it's fly safe oh now this is listen obstacle avoidance all over the place two in the front two in the bottom and two in the back so it's going to be like fully protected with full obstacle avoidance except for the top but that's pretty cool i mean for 249 grams this remember this is a toy gram this is like the toy size 249 grams you get all that that's pretty cool i wonder if that's only for the plus more battery life okay so what's going to be the battery 20 minutes all right there the dj has it because it gets 30 28 pretty similar but you know that's not bad so that's for the nano series Okay, that's for the Nano Series. Now, we looked at the Nano Plus. So what does the Nano, the regular Nano has? No, it's for both. So this basically is for both. So this is the regular Nano. Got it. So we just passed. So the regular Nano is going to have a smaller camera. It's not going to be 50 megabits. It's going to have a smaller sensor, a half inch sen um, CMOS sensor. And also with the YBB, 
filter. This is going to be 4K at 2.8. So it's going to have that same production of the camera. So basically the difference between the 1 and the Plus is going to be a, a little different camera. The camera is just going to be a bit different, 48 to 50. And I guess this camera has bigger, you know, bigger pixels, as you can see, 2.4 millimeter pixels so this one is going to be a little better to like you know handle the darkness than the other ones it's just a little you know better camera from one to another but and of course a uh, aperture of 1.9 so it's going to have a bigger aperture so that's what is going to di differentiate this camera to the other camera but basically everything else is the same so let's see what's the price is going to be on that so let's take it back so that's the nano series Pretty cool. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. It's really, they're bringing it. They're bringing it to the AI, to the DJI. So let's see what happens. All right. So let's go back to the website here. So that's the Nano series, and this is the Light series. So this one is going to compete with the Air series, Air 2, and I guess Air 2S, because it has two models. So let's check them out. She so has three colors here, as you can see. It says cut through darkness. So right away, one inch sensor which is like the 2S, all right, f2.8 to f11, wait a minute, it has adjustable aperture, that's a big boy feature, because that's only the pro versions have that, where you can just change the aperture on the phone itself, that's, that's big boy status right there, and they're giving it to you on the light series, well, that's the regular light, or the, no, that's the light plus, all right, that's the, you know, the big boy on it too, so you're going to be able to, ooh, 6K, 30 frames per second, 30p Woo! that's something else 20 meg 20 megapixel camera so that right there i mean it's, it's taking a few ups on on the dji air 2 s um these store natural colors oh look at this defog mode so it has a mode where it, it, the day is foggy it has a filter where it can just destroy the fog and you can get a clearer picture that's software that's cool that is oh man that is cool now Evo Light Instant. So this is the other one. This is the regular Evo, not the Plus. So this is the regular Evo Light. It's gonna have a different camera. It's gonna have a one two eight, you know, sensor camera. Of course, it's gonna be able to do four K HDR. There you go. The RYYB sensor, which is you know, it lets more light in. And I guess this is gonna be a f what f one nine. I wonder what's the aperture on this. I didn't say exactly. Let me see. There's just forty percent more light. And it has a four-axis gimbal design. So they both have, wow, so this is a wonder one. So it goes bam, bam, and bam, and another axle. So that's four axles. So that's going to be even, uh, you know, smoother gimbal. So that's pretty cool. Instant focus capture. So this is all the software is going to have, you know, follow me. And, you know, and here the colors are white, gray, and orange. Yep, white, gray, and orange. Cinematic shots with a single thing. You got the rocket, orbit, fadeaway, so all the extras. So that's basically it. I mean, you know, it basically they both basically have the same dynamic tracking, of course. You know, since so it's gonna have the you know the better tracking, and again, the no lag feature. So it's, I guess it's the same connection as far as transmission for the remote. You're gonna have that 2.7 30 frames per second video coming in, and even at a higher range at 7.4 i think the other one was six point something on the nano that's pretty hardcore right there you know getting your video coming in at 2.7 30 frames per second that's awesome again the sonar sound so it's gonna have the same remote sonar sound with a little microphone on the controller so you guys could like do your thing and ultra wide obstacle avoidance so it's gonna have obstacle avoidance same thing bottom top supposedly it's extra wide so it's gonna you know kind of cover more side to side so that's pretty good you know i'm talking up front bottom and the back here so that's pretty cool right there too industry leading battery okay let's see the battery like 40 minutes i don't know how many minutes is the air i think it's about the same thing but i could be wrong i'll put it here in the description so see if it's any higher than that so 40 minute flight time so that's the difference right here so the difference between the plus and the and this one is uh and, and the regular is the same thing it's just going to be the camera everything else is going to have so it's going to have the so it's just going to be a camera difference so it's going to have a 50 megapixel 1.28 sensor um on the regular 4k camera for the regular one but on the plus is going to have a one inch sensor 
with aperture Ooh, baby with the adjustable aperture that's a go that is a go so you're gonna ask me Jeff what's up with these prices let's check them out I got that too got an email here we go on the Evo Nano we're talking about 649 so that's that about $150 more than the um, DJI Mini 2 so but you're gonna get you know the camera's going to be a, a little bit, a half-inch sensor with 2.84K. Um, you're also going to get the full obstacle avoidance cameras. Two in the back, two in the front, two in the bottom. I mean, you know, you're getting that on top of everything else. You're getting about the same type of, of fly time. $150 more, it would have been... I don't know why they just don't hit them in the gun and just go a little cheaper or go at the same price. Like, give more for the same price instead of raising the price. Now you're going to think about it. I pay $150. Is the obstacle avoid is worth it? You know what I'm saying? Altel has a chance to really kick ass, to give you more for the same amount of money, but yet they bring it up. They kind of separate themselves with the price. And, you know, you want that direct competition. You want to fight against these companies. You got to give them more for less or more for the same price. But don't give them a little more for more price because you're not really, you know what I'm saying? You got to break into these guys. You know, competition is like that, you know? You compete, you give them more for the same or more for less. You're not doing that hotel, but it's, you know, the the plus, basically, you're just getting the better camera with the F.9 aperture. You should be able to get better night shots with this, um, with this uh, CMOS uh, sensor. And, but that's about it. Everything else is the same. And this one is going to go for $800. Talking about $300 more than the regular DJI um, Mini 2. And plus, they're coming up with a new one. So that's another thing you got to think about. They are coming out with a new one, and who knows what else is going to bring in that platform when it comes out, I don't know, probably this year or the beginning of next year. So you know they're going to come out with the Mini 3, and they're going to give you a lot more. So you're getting a lot. Yes, you're getting the sensors. Yes, you're getting the better sensor, and you're getting the, the, the obstacle avoiders and all that. And you're getting the software features, which you don't have in the Mini. So you are getting a little more, but you are paying for it. That's what I'm saying. You are paying for it. Now, great for 249 grams. Can't beat it. I mean, that's, you know, that's pretty cool. Now, on the light, the regular light, woof, 1149 starting point. That, my friends, again, you're competing with the regular air. But you're coming in at $350 more. Yes, you're getting sensors all over. Which you already had that. But... I don't know. What is it that you're giving? Um, besides the the, 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 the the camera is not as good as the one in sense that you're going to get on the regular Evo. So this is not priced right. I mean, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it's, it's a good camera. You get this, the obstacle avoidance. You're getting the software. You're getting the flight time of 40 minutes. But you're coming in at $350 more than the regular Air 2. Not good. That's not priced well. I mean... Now let's look at this one. Now this one is a little different, but with this one, twelve fifty. Hmm. You are getting the who adjustable aperture, the defog mode, which is pretty cool, and you are getting that six K camera at thirty frames per second. I mean, you are getting more, but you are paying more. That's what I'm trying to say. You're getting more, but you're paying more. It was another shot to come at a thousand dollars and stick it to DJI, but yet. You raise up the price, and now you're making people think. I mean, you know, it gives a couple more features, but is it worth the extra money? You had a chance to for the knockout punch, but this pricing is a little... It's decent, don't get me wrong. To get all this drone for $1,249, I'm glad that the prices are coming down on the one-inch um, sensor drones. But I don't know. I like them. I love the competition. But I wish the competition was tighter. I wish they came in and, you know, and gave them a knockout punch, especially with the pricing. Not too happy with the pricing. So that's it, guys. So what do you guys think? Leave your comments. Let me know. Are you getting the Altel? You think it's worth it? You think it was priced right? Hey, leave your comment. I would like to know. Till next time, it's your boy Jeff. See ya.